Uh, you know, I've been very blessed and, and very fortunate that things have worked out as well as they have. Uh, you know, leaving MLS was certainly a good decision for me, and I'm very happy with it, and I was happy at the time. But to go where I did to, to Norway and, you know, the team, it's a good team, but being in the second division was definitely, uh, you know, a step down, really, but, but it was a step down to be able to come up. Um, you know, I think that, you know, for a lot of American players, uh, you know, it, it's a good thing to go overseas and to, to test yourself, test your game, test yourself mentally. Yeah, well, being away from home, being away from, you know, your loved ones, your family, your friends, uh, being in a different culture that's, you know, totally foreign to, to what you're used to, uh, not being able to speak the language when you first get there and, you know, having to, to, to feel a little uncomfortable, you know, being out of your comfort zone, trying to, to test yourself in, in different ways than you know, MLS and, and home can, can do. I had success in Norway, and I met my wife there, and we both love Scandinavia. It's a very high quality of life. I think anyone that's been there uh, you know, has, has pretty much good things to, to say about it. And you know, my contract was coming up, and you know, the, the team in Norway, they didn't, they didn't want to sell me, so you know, I was going to be a Bossman player, and I was free to, to test the market. And that's when Bromby, you know, approached me, and you know, I, I jumped at the opportunity to play at, in my opinion, the biggest, the biggest club in, in Scandinavia. Uh, we had another young Danish player that was captaining the team, uh, Michael Krondeli, very good player. And I think, you know, everyone thought that he would be the guy that would take over the captaincy. Uh, I had been captain a couple times when he was unavailable, um, so I, I, in my head, I thought that I would be, you know, second choice captain. And the team management approached me and said that, you know, they wanted me to, you know, to take the reins. Um, so obviously, you know, that was, a, that was a huge honor, especially in such a short period of time that, you know, my, my peers and, and uh, you know, my employers would, would think so much of me to ask me to, to lead the boys out and, and, you know, be the leader of the team. I mean, I think anyone, no matter where you're from, you know, that's definitely a goal to be able to represent your country. There's nothing like being able to walk out and have the flag on your chest over your heart and just, you know, have, have the country behind you, uh, you know, playing big games. And I think that, you know, going to, to Europe, never mind Norway, but Europe in general, you know, that was a step that I was hoping would lead me to the national team. I've always said from day one that it's a tremendous honor to be able to, to wear the jersey, you know, to be able to have the crest over your heart. It's a tremendous honor. You know, it doesn't matter who you play, it doesn't matter where you're playing, doesn't matter what group ABC has been called in, it's a tremendous honor. And I've always treated it as such, and I always will. I think, you know, scoring my first goal for the national team was the semi-final of the Gold Cup in 2009, I played Honduras. And that's, you know, dream come true. It was right before halftime. Um, the score was 0-0 against Honduras. There was, you know, their full team, and we had, um, the U.S. had just played Confederations Cup, so we had a lot of players that hadn't played before. You know, very, very much a, a B team, I would say, at the time. Um, and we, yeah, we had, a, we had a corner kick right before halftime. Stuart Holden whipped in a good ball and, uh, you know, a little bit of a, I guess, stop and go move. Uh, got around my marker and was able to, to hammer it home. So off to the corner flag I went.